Okay, now we're going to look at the aortic root. On axial imaging, we can see that the aortic root is oblique to the axial plane of the body. As a result, you're never going to really get that nice Mer Mercedes-Benz sign um, of the tricuspid uh, aortic valve on the axial imaging. And it's best to look at, uh, if you're looking for that, you can look at it on a double oblique image. Uh, but for the purpose of our source imaging, we want to be very familiar with the structures of the aortic root on axial imaging. So we'll first identify that as we come up from the left ventricular outflow tract, we can see that there are three cusps of the aortic root. These are also known as semilunar valves, or um, the space that's created by those cusps is also known as the sinuses of Valsalva. Now they have a name. Um, the left and right sinuses of Valsalva are identified by the fact that the left and right coronary arteries arise from them. So if we look at the origin of the left main coronary artery, we can see that it comes out of this sinus of Valsalva. So this is the left sinus of Valsalva. And if we look at the origin of the right coronary artery, we can see that it comes out of this sinus of Valsalva. So that is the right sinus of Valsalva. And then the final sinus that has no coronary artery arising from it is the non-coronary or posterior cusp or sinus of Valsalva. Now the aortic root proper has the portion of the root that is the aortic annulus which is at the level of the valve itself. It has the sinus of Valsalva, which has this contour outpouching, and it has the sinotubular junction, which is the junction of the sinus of Valsalva and then the more cylindrical tubular portion of the aorta. We can appreciate these structures better if we look at the straight coronal projection of the heart. Here we can see the cusps of the tricuspid aortic valve. We can see the portion of the aortic root which makes up the annulus that we can kind of follow around the periphery of the valve. And then we can see this contour that is ballooned out a little bit that makes up the sinuses of Valsalva. And then we can see the waste that is formed from the sinuses of Valsalva until we get to the more cylindrical tubular portion of the aorta. So again, we have the aortic annulus, the sinuses of Valsalva, and the sinotubular junction. So when you're describing dimensions of the aortic root, um, to have the most complete description, then you can give a diameter at the level of the aortic annulus, a diameter at the level of the sinuses of Valsalva, and a diameter at the sinotubular junction in addition to your ascending aortic diameter and so forth. Some disease uh, processes um, have very particular ways that the aortic root is enlarged and that may include effacement of the sinotubular junction or basically losing that change of diameter that happens here so that the sinus of Valsalva kind of just extends gradually into the ascending aorta. You may see that in patients uh, with Marfan syndrome.